Man City could send youngsters to New York City FC. This is from August 1st, 2014. Manchester City are planning to send young players to develop at their major league soccer franchise in USA. New York City FC, who signed England midfielder Frank Lampard from Chelsea in July, are owned by Man City and baseball giants New York Yankees, as we mentioned. Um, but... It's one of them was Manchester City's chief ex- executive, Ferran Soriano, said we have a new right back, a new holding mid, and we will have a new central defender, and that's it. We don't need to sign new players for the sake of it. Now, he also he also said, the former um, Barcelona vice president said, we are building a truly authentic New York team. This is not a Manchester City team or a brand play or a marketing trick. This <laughs> is real. Now, the reason why, now the reason why we're bringing it up now, sorry, Kieran, we'll, we'll, we'll come back to you in a sec. We, the reason, why, the reason why I felt it was important to bring that up now is because essentially this feeder club thing. Yeah. And we've got, we've still got our special feature about future of the game, the system, which is going to kind of tie into this, which is why we're mentioning it now. It's a case, it's a case of Man City sending young players to develop at, M- at MLS with New York City FC. Mate, they could use that, and they are using with the Lampard thing. They're using New York City F- FC as a reverse feeder club. So it looks like basically they're signing older players. They're, si- they're signing older, more ex- season, ex- more experienced, more seasoned players. They're signing them under the banner of New York City FC. It, this could end up as a conveyor belt. Lampard could be the first of many where they sign players who if they sign for Man City would be expecting a huge contract they sign them for New York City FC saying yeah you're a New York City FC player but but for the four months until the season starts come play with us you're on our books anyway you have to otherwise you breach contract so it's a feeder club both ways yeah. which should which should not be allowed well, in my view it shouldn't be allowed it shouldn't be allowed. Imagine, imagine, imagine the Ferrari if Liverpool, Man United, or Arsenal had a feeder club out in, say, Holland or something like that, or Azerbaijan, just whatever country, or Guam or something like that, or Belgium. Yeah, is one of them. Was they had a feeder club out there, and players were being signed to that club, and then basically saying, "Well, don't worry about that club. Come and play for us." They're circumventing financial fair play. Mm. Well, I, th- I, I think that's what I don't agree with Arsene Wenger often, but I think he's got a point. No, I, I, I do, I do, I do think he has a point. I, I, I do, I do, I do. Ew. No, really, I, I do. But my thing is this, right? <laughs> with how the whole feeder club thing works, there, that, I, I think that's the loophole. I really no, but no, but mo- no, but I, most, I no, but most loophole. clubs who have feeder clubs. Or say it's a feeder club or an affiliate, but in Man City are not have not come out and said, yeah, this is, these are our affiliates, this is our feeder club. They've not said that. They've they're just like, yeah, we own that club. So with them signing Lampard for New York City FC, it just looks like they're trying to play smoke and mirrors, in my view. But but. Kieran Riley, did you did you want to say anything about that transfer or any of the other transfers and that point as well? Um, it's going back to the Lampard thing. I think, um, to be honest, I think he's getting a bit old now. To to be honest, he's now he's what thirty six now. Like looking looking at how um, long he's been in football, um, I think he should think about ending his career. Because looking at one of the players I know, Jody Craddock, who. Did play for Wolverhampton Wanderers, but he's now retired. Yeah, I remember. He it. he was in for a fair amount of time, but he's now what? He's thirty nine, and he called his career in about two years ago because his run went poor as you get older. Yeah, yeah. So I'm think I'm thinking it's about time he should start ending his career instead of carrying on just for the money. Mm. No, I hear that. I mean. I said, I think the Man City sending youngsters to New York City FC is an interesting one because they'll just sign older players to replace those young players temporarily. Well, the thing is, right? It's, it's a revolving door. I have an issue it's with question. I have an issue with Manchester City sending these young players over to America, right? Because unless they come under the homegrown rules, mm-hmm. so the, the young English talent, right? Or talent that would classify as being homegrown because they signed quite young. Well, it's, the homegrown rule has a huge loophole in it, but anyway, go on. No, no, no. But even if they're within that loophole, right? If they're not, how is it beneficial? Mm. So does that mean that all of their 
homegrown talent. It'll be beneficial other to Man City that, and no one else. No, but I'm saying, does that mean that all Which of the... Hold on to that point because we're getting... The quote-unquote homegrown talent. Are they the ones that go and all of the others stay? Yeah. Is, is, is that how that's going to work? Because as I say, in terms of like work permits, etc., etc., they're not in Europe, so they, you know, they, they're not going to have any European naturalization or exemption. So, how does that help? So, as I say, unless they're going to say to all of their, you know, European talent or homegrown talent, right, you're going over to America to play in the MLS, yeah. and they're going to be over there for however many seasons, then, as I say, for me, it doesn't work. Whereas, you know, for most teams in Europe that have European feeder clubs, it's like, well, look. We know that you have a work permit issue, so we're going to send you to our feeder club for however many seasons. We'll send you on loan to this other European club for however many seasons, and that's how we're going to circumvent that. <laughs>